What's going on everybody, Jesse here. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can run scripts from anywhere via a Slack message. So what you can do is you can post a message to Slack, have it run your script, and then actually return the results of that script via a Slack bot uh, to that same channel. Um, this is really, really cool because now you can run your scripts from anywhere. So in order to get this done, we're gonna to have to first get your script up and running in a cloud and then have it cap be capable of interacting with Slack messaging. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. As a sample, I've written a little Python script here called crypto.py where it asks me to enter in a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin or Ethereum and it just returns the result to me. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is to take that and to turn it into something where you can type in the same input on a Slack channel and then your script executes in the cloud and then actually returns the result back to that Slack channel. So now you can trigger this from your mobile device or from anywhere else. Oh, hey, there's the result returned by our Python bot. So let me show you how to do this. So I'm gonna go into the browser and go to Wayscript. This is the program I have running right now to do it. I'm just gonna turn that off so I can show you how I built this from scratch. So what I'm gonna do is create a program called Slack Python Bot or whatever your heart desires. And we come into our programming environment. So the first thing that we wanna do is have our program trigger every time a Slack message occurs in that channel and have it pass us that data. So then we could pass that to our Python script. So I'm gonna to go to add triggers and do a Slack trigger. Um, so now I just have to set up my Slack trigger. I have my workspace. I want to trigger my program when a message is posted and I want it to come from the run script channel. That was the channel I was using on Slack. And under outputs, I want the message text. So I want the text that comes from that message every time. So now this has become a variable in my program which I can now pass to Python. So let's do that. So now I'm gonna come into my library and drag and drop Python into my program. Okay, so what I wanna do is go back and grab my script and just copy and paste it right here. Now the one thing before I was asking the user to input via the command line, so instead of doing that, I'm going to just pass it the Python script my Slack message, which came from this trigger that we just outputted. Um, and then I want to output my message, uh, the result, so that way I can send it back to Slack. So I'm gonna create a dictionary object in outputs called message and assign it to that message variable. Let's make sure that that's lined up. Press play, awesome. So now my Python script is ready to run on the cloud. And what I wanna do is pass that message back to Slack. So I'm gonna drag in Slack below it. And I'm going to write to my run script channel. And the message I'm gonna pass is this message I've just outputted from Python. And yes, I wanna do it as a bot because we're making a Python bot. So let's call our bot Python bot. And now we are good to go. So all I have to do is come into here and activate my Slack trigger, which is now ready to run. So now I can go back into Slack and type in a post and it will run on the platform. There we go. And it just posted the result back. So now anywhere at any time, we can trigger and get prices from our Python script. So you can use this to trigger all types of different scripts and programs, whatever you want. This was just an example to show you how it works. Please subscribe to our channel if you like the content and like our posts, and please reach out with comments or feedback. Uh, happy to talk. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.